hey guys welcome back to another video so today's video is going to be by the company of my first wig these are a few goodies that come inside the box it's going to be a comb some bobby pins a wig cap and a toothbrush slash comb combo so you're also going to be getting some instructions and the information about your wig so this wig is going to be their six inch parting 130 percent density 14 inch malaysian curly wig this also comes with the adjustable straps but as you can see these are not removable and so it also comes with three combs in the inside which i will be taking out and then i'm showing you all that this that the hairline is pre-plugged but this unit is not bleach so i did want to get that out the way before anyone asks this unit did not become bleach but we will be of course adding powder to our hairline so this is going to be the unit freshly washed this unit dried very very fast i like that about this it did not retain any water like some wigs do and so this is going to be the pre-plugged hairline which i am definitely feeling this is like one of my favorite companies i have worked with them before and their wigs have not failed me at all so here i'm going to be using the adjustable straps that are uh, that usually come with the wig and also the elastic band that is included in the wig so this elastic band i don't know if you see at the beginning but it does have three hooks like a bra i am using the last hook um the last hook that will basically make it tighter, not loose. So I'm showing you all how tight this is on my head. As you can see, I will be showing you all that the only thing that you will be needing on the sides is the, um, what do you call them? So I guess some bobby pins. You can just put them down and then voila, you're finished. But today we're going to be using my favorite glue in the whole wide world. I'm going to be using this glue to glue down my wig. This is going to be the um, Ghost Bond glue. I really, really wish the people who created this glue, they actually, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I wish they just promoted the glue like other companies promote their glue because this glue is bomb. A lot of people don't know about this glue because they just don't promote it, but you will be able to find it on Amazon and I will link this in the box. This typically lasts about six to seven days. Um, if you're going to be doing any extreme sweating or like not tying your hair down, I definitely recommend that you use about three coats. Let each coat dry in between and then apply the wig. So I'm going to be finishing um, the touches on just applying the wig. And then I'm going to be following up with my beautiful scarf from my website. This is from the company Slay by Erica J. Me, of course. Um, don't forget to check out my website. These will be available pretty soon to purchase. Isn't this so cute? So after I took this down, yes, honey, we are. Ooh! We are melted. And so you can um, add baby hairs if you want to. I would not be adding baby hairs today because I have added some um, enough. And I'm, I'm thinking about going back to the no baby hair stage. Mm -hmm. So only thing we're going to be doing now is um, finishing up, like just taking off, you know, all the excess glue or like the hair that got trapped in the glue when I was applying it. And then I'm going to be showing you all the six inch parting. So because this wig was not bleached, it's kind of hard to see underneath because it's giving off the, um, you could kind of see like the knots. But like I said, we are going to fix that. And I'm going to be doing a side part. Now, the middle part is going to be six inch, but the side parting is going to be four. I did stop right before the four inches started, and which is why I started to curve the parting, as you can see. So here I'm going to be brushing everything out. I did not get any tangling or any shedding other than the hair that I accidentally cut it when I was shaping the hairline. And so, um, yeah, so this is going to be my design essentials that I'm using. I love this foaming wrap. It is very, very close to the lot of body foaming wrap. But honestly, Design Essentials is what I was using before and I am totally in love with it. And so here you're just going to be basically just drowning the whole wig and <laughs> the foaming wrap in the water. And then you're going to be waiting for it to set and to dry. The next thing I'm going to be using is my MAC Pro Long Wear uh, Powder. This is basically like a face powder that I use, and that's definitely what you want to use on your hairline. You definitely don't want to go any lighter or any darker. If you wear makeup, you definitely want to use something that is your complexion. So I'm going to be using that and just going to be using a um, like an eyebrow shaper thingy. I don't know what the heck that thing is, but I use it to line my eyebrows. <laughs> and so you're definitely going to be using that and then you're going to be um, putting that on the part. You don't want to put a lot, but you want to put enough and so that it is just like it just blends everything in. 
Um, about this wig though, I definitely like this wig. I wore it for the whole day. It was so lightweight. It was so bomb. I'm really not into short curly hair. I think it's just because my face is just like a round face and I don't like it. But let me know how you all think about this wig. Do you like it? This is definitely like a summer wig. And for the pricing, it is definitely a good pricing. And then, um, especially for 100 130%. Because to me, I feel like it could be about 150%. So you definitely get a bang for your buck. Yeah, and um, I will catch you guys in the next video. If I tell you, say I love you, oh.